Home prices are dropping fast. This is your March 2023 Florida housing market update. And to be clear, I'm aware that it's April, so I'm also going to share the most recent data that we have for April in the markets that we are about to cover. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate your participation in our journey. And good, bad, right or wrong, up or down, I am committed to telling you the truth about what's happening in each and every Florida housing market that exists so that you are empowered to make the best decisions for yourself, for your family, and for your financial bottom line. And if you've been watching for a while, you know that I've been talking about exactly what I suspect will happen in the future. And when the Fed started tightening their policy and raising the Fed funds rate over a year ago, I went on the record as stating exactly what will happen in the future. And while I'm not an economist and I'm certainly not an analyst, I was a stockbroker for 20 years. And I knew for certain, based on experience, what would very likely happen in the near future. And every single thing that I said would happen has either started to happen, has already happened, happened or is worsening. And I've got a year's worth of content to support that. Because when the cost of capital gets more expensive, big corporations take strategic action. They stop expanding. They stop spending. They start laying off workers. They sell buildings. And while I don't like being right on this, it was predictable and it's going to get worse. And while I'm not going to do a deep dive into how many buildings Amazon has sold or how many layoffs have happened in the tech space, financial space, and others, I can absolutely tell you that these trends and these patterns are going to get worse before they get better. But make no mistake, pain is coming. And right now the consumer is feeling a lot of pain. Household savings is at an all time low and household debt is at an all time high. And people are beginning to feel a lot more uncertain about the future. But many folks still feel insulated and protected because they're sitting on a tremendous amount of equity in their homes. Up until it's gone. And while one month does not make a pattern, and it certainly doesn't confirm a trend, we are seeing for the first time on a macro level, sales prices dropping. And today's video is a deep dive into the macro picture of the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach Metro, which is comprised of Palm Beach County, Broward County, and Miami-Dade County. And to be abundantly clear, the big picture market is going to be very different than the hyperlocal market in which you may be thinking about buying or selling. And if you want to be in the know about every housing market that exists within Florida, then please subscribe to the channel because I intend to cover every metro within the state of Florida as soon as possible. And while this video is a macro overview of Palm Beach, Broward, and Dade County, I will do a deep dive into the cities that exist within each one of these counties very, very soon. Because although the macro number is on the downtick, some of these markets have massive double-digit losses. And I don't say any of this to scare you, I share it to prepare you. Because the truth is, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. But anybody burying their head in the sand and pretending these changes aren't happening is out of their mind. But let's get into the data. Let's get into the numbers so that we understand what they are in order to govern ourselves accordingly. Because the data, the numbers, don't lie. And please keep in mind, this is dated information. This is lagging. And although the Florida Realtor Association just released it today, it's a month old. So please stick around until the end because I will tell you what April numbers are up until this point. And if you're in another market within Florida, just know that I will have more content for you soon, updating what the most recent numbers are. But let's get right into it. So for March 2023, closed sales are down almost 16%. Cash sales are down 27%. Median sales price is on the uptick, up 5.6%. But Chris, you said that prices are nosediving. 
Yes, they are in many of the hyper-local markets that exist. And I really don't want this to be a four-hour video, but I can promise you as I go into the more hyper-local markets in each city, you are going to be shocked by the double-digit declines that are happening with both median and average sales price. But this is a skewed number because we're talking about a macro picture, but the average sales price in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach Metro is down 7.2%. 7.2% is not too far away from a double digit decline. And while the median sales price upticked from 540 to 570, the average sales price got smacked in the mouth from 926 to 860. And to be clear, this is one month's worth of data. It's not a pattern yet, it's not a trend yet, although we are going to see what April reveals. Dollar volume down almost 22%, and that's a function of closed sales being down almost 16%. Median percent of original list price received is down from 100% to 95.5, down 4.5%. Median time to contract up 175%, from 12 days to 33. That is a return to normal. That does not particularly raise an eyebrow for me. Median time to sale up 37.7%. Let's round it up to 38 to 73 days from 53. That is an uptick, but again, that feels like a return to normal. New pending sales are down 17.2%. And new listings in the Palm Beach County, Broward County, Miami-Dade County Metro is down almost 20%. And please keep in mind, supply and demand will always dictate price. But when mortgage interest rates are pushing 7%, you can bet your sweet bippy, there's a lot less people out there that are thinking about buying a home. And then separate to that, there are a lot less sellers out there that are thinking about trading up into a higher monthly payment. They're not going to trade out of a sub 4% mortgage and get into a 7% mortgage if they don't have to. And I'm not confused. There are still 1,400 people who move to Florida on a daily basis. And many of those buyers are my clients, and they are still thrilled to be buying a home in Florida, which is why these macro numbers are not necessarily the most instructive in the hyper-local market in which you're thinking about buying or selling because there are hyper-local markets that continue to uptick, that continue to have very high demand, very little supply, and a lot of competition. But as far as the big macro picture is concerned, and to be clear, Palm Beach, Broward, and Miami-Dade trade very differently, and I'll get much more granular into them as we move forward in the future. But as of March 2023, the Metro is no bueno as far as average sales price is concerned, which is down 7.2%. But the monthly mortgage interest rate in the beginning of March was very different than the end of March. So it'll be interesting to see what April numbers yield so far. Pending inventory is down 22%. Active listings, meaning the homes that are sitting on the market for sale, unsold, uptick by damn near 80%. March of last year, there were 5,600 and change homes sitting on the market unsold. And as of March 2023, that number has skyrocketed. There were 10,163 homes sitting on the market unsold, which translates into 138.5% increase in months supply of inventory from 1.3 months a year ago to 3.1 months, which is great news if you're one of those 1,400 people that move here on a regular basis because you've got more choices, because you've got more leverage. And while we're trending to a neutral market fast, it is still a seller's market in most markets within this metro. And closed sales in the Palm Beach, Broward County, and Miami Metro are down 25.4% year to date. They were down 15.7% in March. And you can look back over the last 12 months 
to see how badly closed sales were impacted by increasing interest rates. And cash sales tell us the same story. If we look back over the last 12 months, you can see for yourself what they were. But year to date, we're down 27.6% in terms of cash sales. And for March of 2023, we were down 27% in terms of cash sales. But if you look at the bar graph on the bottom of your screen, what you'll notice is that in March of 2023, we were basically in the exact same place as we were in 2019, which many would argue is a return to normal. And cash sales as a percentage of closed sales tells a similar story. Year to date, they're down 3.2%. And for March of 2023, down 13.5% in this metro. Now you can look back over the last 12 months and see what they are because the numbers speak for themselves. But what I like to see is what does it look like compared to pre-pandemic numbers? And if you look at March of 2023, what you'll notice is the percentage of closed sales paid in cash is very similar to February of 2019 pre-pandemic, which I would argue is a return to normal which takes us to median sales price. And many people think that median sales price is the better number to pay attention to. And that might be true in some markets, because if there's an outlier sale that is extreme, it can very easily distort the average sales price and median sales price typically alleviates that concern because it throws out the outliers and it uses the middle term. But if the inventory that you're analyzing is homogenous, I don't particularly care for it because it tends to distort the number and average sales price is typically more instructive. But you must know the hyperlocal market and you must know the inventory and comps within it. But for right now, we're talking about median sales price and we're talking about the macro number. So March, 2023, the median sales price on the uptick, 5.6%, year to date up 5.7%. March number was 570, a big jump from the 552 that we saw in February, but a far cry from the 24%, the 19.8% the 19 and the 18% that we saw almost 12 months ago. And we're a far cry from where we were in 2019, which in January was right around 350,000. And I suspect homeowners in this metro are feeling quite wealthy. They're feeling quite protected. They're feeling equity rich up until they're not, which takes us to average sales price and average sales price in the Palm Beach, Broward County, Miami-Dade Metro year to date is down 1.6%. And in March, it was down 7.2%. And while we've got two consecutive months of a decline in average sales price, we have yet to experience a trend of three months consecutively. Because in November of 2022, we had a decrease of almost 4%. And in December, it was a whopper. It was down 18.7%, which rallied back quickly in January with an uptick of 10.2%. So it will be very interesting to see what April numbers yield in these markets. And I'm going to show you exactly what the April numbers are in Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach County. So please keep watching. But the trend is definitely not your friend if you're thinking about selling. And it's certainly your friend if you're thinking about buying. But as I've mentioned many times in the past, supply and demand will always dictate price. And although there are less shoppers shopping when interest rates are closer to 7% as opposed to 4 make no mistake, people are still buying homes and they'll continue to buy homes no matter what the interest rate is because they need shelter. But the supply of new listings is on the downtick. It's down almost 15% year to date. And it was down 20% or damn near it in March of 2023. And you can look back over the last 12 months to see what the deficiencies were. But if you look at the bottom of the screen, what you'll notice is the green bar graph, which shows where we were as of March. And if we go back to January of 2019, what you'll see is we are significantly under where we were for most of 2019 thus far this year. And if there's a shortage of supply, I can assure you that there is going to be an insulated market because there is still demand wanting to buy 
homes. And in my hyper-local market just last week, or maybe it was a week and a half ago, I brought my clients to a home that had 20 plus contracts and over a hundred showings in less than two days, which is why it is critical that you understand what the hyper-local market is in which you're thinking about buying or selling in order to advocate and negotiate the right way. And month's supply of inventory confirms what I just said. Year to date, there are 3.3 months of supply, which is still a seller's market. But it's certainly not the 1.3 months that we had in March of 2022, which was an extreme seller's market. Make no mistake, with mortgage interest rates as high as, as they are, there are less shoppers shopping. But they're still shopping and they're still buying homes and the market is always good for someone. But the market dynamics have shifted radically. And with 3.3 months, we are trending to a much more neutral buyer friendly market, at least from the macro perspective. And if we look at the bottom bar graph, what you'll notice is that in March of 2023, we're a touch over three months, which is radically different than 2019 where we were pushing between five and six months almost the entire year. That is a return to normal. And as of March 2023, we're not back to normal yet. So most hyper-local markets that you're shopping in are probably going to trade very differently than what you're seeing from this macro level. But I will show what April numbers are so that you've got the best information to govern yourself accordingly. Which takes us to the monthly market detail for March 2023 in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach Metro. And what you can see is closed sales by sales price. And it breaks down the closed sales by price point. And the bulk of closed sales occurred north of $400,000. And to be abundantly clear, we're talking about single family homes in this metro. So townhomes and condos are not part of this data. But what you can clearly see is that there is a massive decline in closed sales across the board by price point. And median time to contract by sales price is on the uptick. And while every price point is a return to normal, $150,000 to $200,000 homes decreased by 60% in terms of time to contract, which is still only eight days. But if you can find a single family home that is in decent condition between 150 and 200, I hope I find it first because I'll buy it. They are rare. They are almost non-existent, which is why the time to contract is only eight days. And new listings by initial listing price are broken down for us very nicely, very neatly too. And what you'll see is there is a major decline in new listings in most price points because less folks want to sell their home when a mortgage interest rate for a perfect credit score is pushing 7%. Although based on some of the recent regulation changes, having perfect credit and having a big deposit is going to be punished. Which takes us to inventory by current listing price. And what you can see is a neat breakdown by price point. And inventory is stacking very quickly in the 600 to a million plus price points with 2,804 homes sitting on the market unsold that are between 600 and under a million and 4,367 homes priced over a million dollars or more. They're sitting on the market unsold. No bueno if you're thinking about selling your home in those price points, and muy bueno if you're thinking about buying in those price points. And again, this is a macro picture. The hyper-local market that you're shopping in will very likely trade completely differently and have very different inventory levels, which takes us to distressed sales. And I know that as the pain of recession worsens, as uncertainty and fear uptick, as the consumer really starts to feel the pain and has to make tough financial choices, we are going to see the distressed inventory market uptick. But as of March of 2023, distressed sales are a non-event. And I suspect they will continue to be a non-event throughout the state of Florida until something radical happens because homeowners have a ton of equity. In fact, they've got a metric shit ton of equity. But foreclosures in the Palm Beach, Broward, and Miami-Dade County market in the Miami-Fort Lauderdale-West Palm Beach metro 
are down almost 45% from 49 a year ago to 27 in March of 2023. And short sales are on the downtick from 17 to 11, down 35.3%. And thank God these people have equity, because if they wait until the bad news happens, until whatever the thing is that unhinges the market happens, they are in front of it. And if you're thinking about selling, you want to be in front of the panic, of the fear, of the masses when everybody hits the exit door at the same time, because at that point, it's way too late to get involved. But if you're like me, you probably don't care what happened last month. You want to know what's happening right now. So let's get into what the April numbers have revealed so far in Palm Beach County, Broward County, and Miami-Dade, because that information is far more instructive than reading yesterday's news. And to be totally transparent and you know exactly what you're seeing here, you can see the region that I've selected is Palm Beach County, and I'm looking at residential single-family homes. And while I can get a market highlight of what I've already shared, I'm not going to go into that. What you want to see is what the April numbers are. And what you'll see is that so far in April, looking at today's stats, looking at the most current information that's available, there has been a massive shift in the landscape of pricing. And current versus previous month to date, average sold price is up 17.1%. Single family homes in Palm Beach County have upticked from 948,000 to 1.11 million so far in April. But the average sold price is down compared to the same month a year ago to the tune of 8%. And if we look at the current versus previous year to date, you'll also notice there's a downtick of 0.2% from 1,038,000 to 1,036,000. And again, this is still a macro number. It has not drilled down into the hyper-local markets that exist within the single family markets in Palm Beach County, but it is far more instructive than the old news that we just looked at. It is critical to work with someone who understands the hyper-local market in which you're thinking about buying or selling in order to advocate and negotiate for you the right way. Which takes us to Broward County single family homes, residential resale. And similar to the last analysis, I'm not going to reread their summary because I've already covered it. We want to know what April is. And if we scroll to the bottom of the screen, what you can see is today's stats. What happened current versus previous month to date? And from April 1st to April 20th versus March, the same period, what you'll see is that the average sold price for single family homes in Broward County so far is down almost 6% from 733 to 690. That is a big downtick. And if we look at that same snapshot of time versus a year ago, you see a bigger decline. You see a decrease of 13.2% from 795 down to 690. And if we look at the current versus the previous year to date, same snapshot, January 23 to 4, 2023, you notice a 3% reduction. Single digit decline from 768 to 745. No bueno if you're thinking about selling in Broward. And muy bueno if you're thinking about buying. But to be clear, this is still a macro picture and the hyper-local market that you're shopping in will trade very differently. Which takes us to Dade County, the 305. All right, market summary, nobody cares. I've already covered it. But, you, but what you can see in the snapshot is essentially what I've already shared. And to be clear, I will go granular into the cities that exist in each of these counties as we move forward, as soon as I possibly can. But for today, to not make this a five-hour video, we are not going granular. We're going to stick with the macro level. But let's look at what Dade County single-family homes have revealed so far in April, because no one cares what happened a month ago.
And what you can see in today's stats is that the current versus previous month to date average sold price is on the uptick. It's up 4.2% from 895 to 9.33. And I suspect that's got a lot to do with the fact that interest rates dropped in March by a full point. But they're up a full point in April, which means May numbers are going to take a hit because those April sales are already locked in. But the average sold price in Dade County for single family homes, current versus same month a year ago, are down 8.5% from a million 20 to 933. That is a big hit. And if we look at the current versus previous year to date in Dade County, referencing single family homes only, this does not include townhomes or condos, what you see is a decrease of 4.4%, down from a million 60,000 to 962. No bueno if you're thinking about selling and muy bueno if you're thinking about buying. Now, I hope you found this content valuable, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. If you're thinking about buying or selling, please reach out to me directly because we would love to help. And please stay tuned because I will update every single housing market that exists within the state of Florida as quickly as I can. And check out my next video because I suspect you will love it a lot. And until next time, peace.